touchscreens are no longer something of the future. Today they are everywhere and if you have a website, probably all of your mobile users and many of those with a notebook or even desktop computer will use a touchscreen instead of a mouse. So you might want to check for this capability in order to deliver an enhanced experience to the user. Today we are going to try a few ways in which you can detect the presence of a touchscreen when somebody visits a page. While I am preparing a basic testing round, a few remarks are in order. First, a device having touch capabilities doesn't mean that the user is going to necessarily use them. They may still use a stylus or a mouse or some other type of controller. Secondly, in this age of increasing concern for security and privacy, not all users will want websites to detect details about their devices. So, they might prevent this by using functionalities provided by their browser or some browser extension. Besides, the platform, device or browser they use might not make a difference or care if an input command comes from a mouse, stylus or finger touch. So, there is no 100% working method of detecting if a device has a touch screen unless you explicitly ask the user for this information. Nor is there a standard function specifically created for detecting touchscreens, so we will have to exploit some other elements of the available web APIs, which is what I am doing in this video. Let's start by addressing the usual case in which you only want to detect how the user is interacting with the interface. Is it by clicking with a mouse or by touching a screen? You can only do this after a click or touch has happened, by listening to the corresponding event. For clicks, you will intercept the click event, as you probably have already done before. And for a screen touch, you will intercept the touch start event. The click event is still sent after a touch start, so we can discard it if a touch has already been caught. Pretty simple and reliable way of telling if the user has and uses a touch screen. We can iterate through each touch point and get the screen X, Y coordinates. This is useful if you want to read a gesture. By the way, if you don't have any physical device with a touchscreen at the moment, you can use the responsive design mode of a desktop browser to simulate a smartphone or tablet. And there is also the Android emulator or Xcode simulator. Now, what if you want to know if there is a touchscreen before the user does anything? Well, there are various methods, some work on some browsers, some work on others. Sometimes desktop browsers need their hidden settings to be tweaked, while mobile devices usually don't have any problems. Most approaches are based on the touch interface of the web API, supported by every modern browser. The most common way is by checking if the window global variable supports the untouch start event used earlier, or if the navigator object supports touch contact points, 
these elements only exist in browser that can detect screen touches. This works for mobile phones, but on some desktops with touchscreen, it is not always guaranteed. For instance, Chromium-based browsers like Chrome and Edge have to be started with the touch events argument in order for this event to be available. On Quantum-based browser like Firefox, you might have to enable the legacy API by changing some advanced configuration settings. This is not necessary on mobile phones, it is mostly needed on devices that have both a touchscreen and a mouse, and like I said before, it depends on the configuration of such device and their operating system. Another similar method is by trying to create the touch event object. If it fails, then we assume there is no touch screen. The window variable we just used has a function that may also help. Its purpose is to detect if the current document matches a specific CSS media query, and it's called match media. As you may know, in CSS you can use different media queries to create styles based on the type of the device. For example, this is what would apply a certain style only for touch screens. or you could do it for a device with a stylus or a mouse now the match media can be used like this to see if the current media query matches a touch screen or if you want to detect anything except a mouse that triggers a hover event. I didn't see this work on a laptop with touch screen, though only on mobiles, which is why it's not my first solution. As a last resort or an extra check, you can try to identify the operating system or type of device, an Android, iPhone, Windows laptop, for example, but sometimes you might get false positives, so keep that in mind. First, you get the user agent from the navigator object and then try to match targeted devices against the return string. I will leave a link in the description that contains the immense number of user agents for every browser, platforms and devices. This method will work if the user hasn't enabled some privacy option that prevents the retrieval of the user agent and if the browser sends this information as detailed as we need it. So in the end it's a matter of trade-offs and a little bit of luck. Some code might work, some may not, especially on desktops or laptops with touch screens or a mix of touch screen and a mouse. Other than that, you can also use some of the libraries out there, which usually use the same methods and come bundled with much more than touchscreen detection. For example, Zinc Touch that can detect gestures as well, 
or current device for detecting devices using the user agent information. So I hope you are closer to a solution or at least a decision after watching this. The full source code I am working on right now and all the links are attached to the description. If something new appears on the subject, I will let you know, or maybe you will in the comments, to which I will happily reply. Thanks for watching, subscribe, give a like and I wish you a productive day.